Hi students, uh, now let's see the life and scope of a variables. So far we had discussed about the variables like the instance variables, uh, class variables and the local variables. How to access those three variables also we already discussed. Now let's see the life and scope of those variables in a program. So let take me a simple program class sample int x is equal to 10 static int y is equal to 20 public static void main string ox okay so int z is equal to 30 for int i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus some loop condition i had taken some statements okay so this is what here so first of all tell me what are these uh, variables uh, what type of variables it is so this is what type of variable int x is equal to 10 you call it as an instance variable because it is a member of a class it is a member of a class you call it as instance variable so first of all you have to get a complete clarity on what exactly the uh, which type of variable is instance and which is a class variable and which is a local variable so if you get the complete clarity on the concept then it is easy for you to write the programs Okay, what type of variables you have to be declared and you have to be initialized while you're working on the program. So that basic should be clear, right? So instance variable and this you call it as a class variable. Why? Because this is a static member of a class. This is a class name static member of a class. Okay, and this what what this this is nothing but a method parameter arguments is a method parameter. I didn't explain about this statement. I'll explain later method parameters. So the method parameters can be argument 1, argument 2, argument 3. So number of parameters you can. So what type of uh, variable it is? It is local variable. Present inside the main. So it is a local variable. And this you call it as. What this i represent? i represents the block variable. Means until this block it can be used. So this is a block variable. Local variable, block variable and instance variable. So these are the different types of variables that are present in a single program. See here in a single program, these are different types. So the method parameters and block variables are also called as local variables. Remember this point and let me write that point. Method parameters. So whatever the method parameters and block variable, this I, block variables are also called as also called as local variables because their life is uh, till until that main block only okay so now let's see the life and scope of these variables instance variable class variables method local and the block variable and their life variable and their life so if you take the instance variable their life is object means instance variable allocates memory whenever object is created whenever object is created memory allocates until that the memory will not be allocates right or wrong i already said the memory of uh, uh, the instance variable allocates the memory whenever the object is created in the class. So their life is object creation. So until the object is present, instance variable life is there. Class variable. So class variable is their life is whenever the class is loaded. Class loaded. Whenever the class is loaded, the class variable life is there. Coming to the method parameters. Method parameter. So the method parameter life is till the method is exist. And what about the local variable? Local variable is also till that method is, that main method is accessing. Okay. Block variable until that block is present. So until that for loop is accessing, that block variable will be present. Their life is this. So block variable scope is limited to block only. Let me write. So the block variable scope is limited to 
block only. So uh, that scope is only to that for loop only to that for loop only that block variable scope is there then what about the method parameter method parameter and the local variable scope is scope is limited to method only the scope is also limited to method only then what about the instance variable and the class variable scope that is based on the access modifiers scope is based on access modifiers so these access modifiers you will learn later that is a public private protected so this instance and the class variable scope is based on the access modifiers they can be used in any program so instance variable and class variable can be used in any program based on this access modifier so the public private protected so life is same but scope is different the public protected and private the life here the life is the same only but only the scope is different so based on the access modifiers so this is about the scope and life of a variables so in the next video we will discuss about the arrays concept thank you